Hey guys, what is up? Matt here. Um, today I am recording it sideways just to see if it would fix the um, the bars on the side of the screen. And basically another unboxing today. We have a, my keyboard just came in. I'm so happy. Sorry, my dog is barking. But anyways, we're going to cut this open. And or maybe we might just be able to yeah all right let's rip this off and um this should okay so we have this little piece right here i don't want to just cut this open and there we go. All right. <clears throat> so, oh my gosh. I did open it upside down because my um, address was on the front. More billing information. We don't need this packaging. Oh my gosh. I'm just so happy right now. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so this is basically what the keyboard light is looks like. Let's see if I can pull that down. Nice, nice. Um, this is a G Skills Rip Jaws KM70 Mix keyboard. This thing, I watched so many reviews on it. I did not find one that said this keyboard is horrible. And it was, I was going to get the, um, it was the Razer, the, I'm not sure, some Razer keyboard. It was the, I'm not sure, I will put an annotation in or something like that, but I was going to get that one, but that one was way too expensive, and wow, this thing, this is, uh, it's just so freaking cool, like everything about this keyboard has, um, I'm just, the finish and everything on it is just fantastic so we're just going to go ahead and open this up from this side is there any tape yes there is let me grab the knife over here and let's go ahead and cut this off I'm trying to be careful all right cool now let's pull this open all right man Alright, so let's slide this over and let's see what is inside. Uh, Alright, let me put this camera down for a second. Alright. So, move that trash. Alright, so. We have a box here. I'm guessing you just pull it out like this. Awesome. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. This thing is so freaking. Okay. So we're going to pull out the keyboard itself. I really like the feel of these already. It's just like. It's not like the um, Razer keyboards where it's like clicky, even though I do like those because my brother does have that. But, because I've used my key brother's keyboard and I love his keyboard. But to have my own now, um, I'm going to test this out for a little bit um, and see how that is. So, we also have, um, when I get this set up in my room, it'll be a lot easier. But we've got the volume mixer up here. Um, have all the controls. You've got your um, macros up at the top. You've got customizable buttons down here. Um, everything lights up. And then let's see what's over here. You have some instructions that aren't in a different language. And this thing right here is really cool. You have your uh, uh, armrest, which goes on your arm right there. And so it's not as uncomfortable. Let's see if we can pull this up. All right, so we're gonna pop this out from the back. Oh man. So, this is, I thought this part was really cool. 
this is basically the um, uh, on the keyboard you can exchange this out and you can also clip it on on that bar right here um, so basically this these uh, main gaming keys right here the R E uh, F and C I believe all these bu main buttons they are all in here but in a different um, fashion let me show you real quick um, so let's see if I can open this with one hand might have to put this down real quick um, this is actually a little bit difficult to oh, okay I was opening it from the wrong side um, okay so these are all the keys you get with it let's focus please uh, you get Q A W S E D R F C G. Um, I do not know what you'd use G for, but you have a multiple, a lot of options. And let's see if you can. All right. So here is the uh, wrist, uh, like holder. I mean, um, wrist rest. Um, this thing, um, I watched reviews on it and um, the keyboard, a lot of people said it was very comfortable, didn't have an awkward feel to it, and um, it all went really well together. Um, so I'm going to go set this up in my room and we're going to see how this looks. Alright, see you guys. Alright guys, so we are back in my room. I've set everything up, played around with the software, and this keyboard is really cool. Um, it, if you guys are looking for the clicky, uh, you know, the clicky sounding keys, um, like the Razer, um, which one is it, uh, I don't know, I'll put an annotation in or something like that, uh, some, uh, it's one of the best Razer keyboards you can get, um, lights up all different colors, that was one of the choices I was gonna get, but then this one, uh, which my friend showed me, Wynn, who is another person who's running the channel, uh, he showed me this keyboard, and it was really cool. I thought the design and layout of, every, of everything was really cool. So basically, um, I went and played around with the software, and if my uh, camera focus, I need a new camera. Um, basically, I set up all the keys to where I want it. This is basically my gaming. This is uh, your WASD. Uh, you got your E, T, space bar. Basically, all the main keys light it up or lit up my bad um and basically i was going to change this out here let me pull up my desk a little bit um i was going to change these keys around just to see how they felt but basically i'm a little bit nervous with uh basically pulling the keys off of the keyboard i do not trust myself yet um it's basically brand new and I don't want to end up breaking something and having to ship, ship it back and wait even longer to use it again. So basically I'm going to watch a couple videos on how to properly do that and maybe if I get good at it, um, I will make a video on that. But until that does happen, um, I'm going to go through what, uh, basically what the keyboard can do. You can customize it as I just showed you here. You can do any type of format. And then you can also, so you've got your macros up here, you can go ahead and click on your second one. This is the breathing one, comes in and out, uh, pretty cool. And then your macro three, this is basically the reactive one. So, pretty cool. Um, so basically any button you press uh, will light up. Pretty cool. So, um, I have not actually set up these... Uh, these buttons yet the um, the I have no clue what these buttons are called but um, I have not set those up yet um, but I already know what I want them to be set as so should not be hard at all because the software is very easy to use as long as you uh, follow this tutorial which is it's it's really not hard to get a hang of but um, here's the keyboard uh, we'll turn on the LEDs for one last look Actually, I'm going to do one more effective lighting real quick. Um, so one is reactive, uh, another one is breathing, random, that just lights up random keys on the keyboard. And let's click OK. And as you see, it's just going to light up random keys on the keyboard. Um, I wish it would light up like a lot more instead of one at a time. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Um,
Another one is Snake. This one's pretty cool. It kind of just goes around your keyboard. Um, I might start using that one, I don't know, until I get uh, tired of you looking at that. Um, but, that one's pretty cool. Um, let me see. One more is, I think that might be all of them, and then an LED on. Which is all of them on, which does look very nice. So, one last look at the keyboard before we go to the software. So, I will see you guys back on my, so uh, on my PC. So, see you guys right, in a second. Alright, so we are back on my PC. And so, basically... Um, I'm just going to give you a little tour of uh, the software here and their website if you guys do want to check out the uh, stuff they have. Um, so basically, um, here is basically the layout of my keyboard as I showed you on the camera in the previous clip. This is basically how I customized it. Um, all the things I need basically when I am trying to uh, locate a key. But even though I really do know where it is, it's just easier to locate if it is lit up and all the ones are out. But anyways, that's my personal opinion. You also have your macro too. And this one is, you can uh, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, but I had this one set as snake. So basically, to change the effect lighting, basically you can uh, change, if you want it to stay the same uh, as the background lighting, everything lights out if you just hit this background lighting button and then you can adjust the brightness within uh, uh, the slider right here uh, pan slider I'm not sure what this is called I'm pretty sure it's a pan slider anyways you can disable lighting which completely turns everything off except for this bar right here so um, and then you can uncheck this All right. So this is the only thing that doesn't turn off and this and these. So basically your main buttons at the top do not turn off, but everything else does, which if you're trying to get your complete computer to sleep and your keyboard does not shut off. I have not actually tried that yet, but if the keyboard does not shut off and you're trying to get your computer to sleep while you're gone or something like that, basically you can just disable the lighting and that will save you some power. So that's really cool. Um, let me see. So, next thing is the effect lighting. You click this button, and it brings up this little window right here. And this is where you can choose uh, any kind of uh, effect you want with the keyboard. This is basically, uh, the in the previous clip, what you guys saw. Basically, I went through all of, uh, all of these. So, they were pretty cool. Honestly, I think the coolest one might be breathing sn top three breathing snake or reactive i think reactive is my top though um but honestly i do really like this one right here which is really cool when i pulled up the software i was really hoping there was something like this and this is just perfect um it's really like the uh razor software which i used for a little bit before um my brother wanted his keyboard back so that's why i bought this one um so you have three macros here. This is the reactive one, um, and I did set it to LED on before I ended the clip. So let me turn it back to breathing, and let me turn this one back to snake. And uh, all right, so there we go. Snake one's pretty cool, honestly. But I wish like every time you hit a key when the snake one is on, it would like be like the reactive. But that is okay. Um, Oh yeah, I did set some of these as PvP, um, so you can switch them out. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. Whoa, that's really cool. I did not know you could do that. So you can basically s uh, make different. That is really cool. You can make different, um, uh, like basically profiles and switch throughout them, uh, so you d wouldn't have to go back. Uh, like, let's say I wanted my Macro 3 as PvP, instead of, like, as my main gaming setup, like, here it is, um, oh, no, okay, so basically, you can just switch throughout them instead of having to go through and change everything again, which is really cool, and I will show you how I did this layout right here, um, I do have this set up in this one right here, it's a little bit different. 
I didn't have E for this one. But basically, so let's just turn all of these on. And then single. Alright, so there we go. We reset it. So basically, all you have to do to uh, s um, basically customize your keyboard, what you have to do is what I usually have is I select all these. I escape button. I have my... You just click on the key or you can drag and highlight everything. But um, you have control, shift, tab. Um, I do not need my numbers. Yeah, I don't need those. I need F1, F2, which I will probably end up binding these to these down here because my pinky usually is usually on uh, the control right here, which will be easily be able to reach over here or here. And then uh, my the button for A will be able to reach over here and here. And then these, well, I'll just have to move my hand because I will probably be... Actually, no, I could use my pinky for the... Uh, the second and first one, but that would be a little bit having to move my hand too far off of it. But, um, so I select these, and, um, if someone's messaging me on Skype, please go away. I do not want to pull that, gosh darn it. See what you do, Skype. Um, and you hit E, um, I need this, um, enter, shift, I do not need that. Uh, backspace. I need F8, F5, no, I don't need F5, because I have that on my mouse, and, but you guys get the hang of it, and then you guys can just play around with this, um, it's really cool, you can kind of make cool patterns in here, um, and it's just really fun to play around with, so if you guys do have any, uh, basically oh and this is the customize i'll go over this really quickly before we hop on their website this is basically uh if you want if you were playing a game as before you can uh set this as like if uh you didn't need to type in your game and it's a single player game follow uh for i believe this is a single player game and you do not really need to type in that basically you can create a profile where you can set like if n right next to your uh d you could set that uh your f key to a certain um, key, uh, so like if you need usually needed to hit F1, but you didn't want to move your hand, basically you'd go over to keyboard and you basically click uh, the blank space right here um, and just click F1. That is really cool. You press save and then every time you hit that uh, F key, it will press F1, which is really cool. So um, you can do that for any key on here, as I said before, and except for these up here, of course. But I'm going to hop on their website. Alright guys, I so we are back on their website. Um, this is a really cool layout of the website. Um, but uh, basically, this is the um, keyboard. This is their best uh, keyboard. Uh, obviously, it has a lot more features to theirs. Uh, obviously, my buttons here, they are... Uh, well, there's their bars. It's just this keyboard is so much nicer. Um... I cannot um, say that enough, but before I get into too much off topic, this is basically uh, how to navigate through their website and to get to uh, everything pretty easily. So basically all you have to do is go up to uh, the ribbon, I believe it's called, go over to products and then hop down to gaming keyboards. This is basically where you can locate everything on this tab right here. But this is where I found my keyboard. Um, and, and since you just click the series uh, drop down button and hit gaming keyboards and it locates all of them. So um, this is the keyboard right here I have. If you guys do want to purchase this, go ahead and click on that. And then you guys can uh, look at any kind of detail you guys want to. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And I will try to get back uh, to you as soon as possible. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, thank you guys for watching this. Um, it means a lot to all of us who have been working on this channel. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so stay tuned for a lot more unboxings. Do not get tired of these, because a lot more are coming. Um... I have, um, I uh, believe a new mic coming, a new camera coming, um, what else? Um, I don't know, I don't know what else I'm getting, 
Um, and uh, you guys can feel free to uh, read about this while I'm talking if this is not interesting and you guys are looking at the keyboard and totally not paying attention to me, that's totally fine. Um, but uh, stay tuned for a lot more unboxings. We are going to be streaming on the weekends. Yes, we are starting streaming. Um, I know we have not, we've almost never streamed. I have streamed once and it was a horrible experience. My internet totally just cut me out. Um, it would be delayed so bad. Um, another thing is, uh, Wynn is going to be streaming not just Minecraft. He's going to be streaming Fallout 4. He says it's a really good game. I've never played it. Actually, I have played it. I was at his house the other day, and, um... I was playing it. It was pretty fun. Um, everything, it was a little bit complicated. I didn't really know what was going on or what I was doing. Um, because I, uh, he was kind of uh, pretty far into the game. And I didn't even know. And it was the, uh, pretty obvious, the fourth game. Um, but, um, I mean, it's, I hope that, I mean, I know Fallout 4 is a really big hit and that everything that, um, the game is really good, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that type of content. Um, we are going to be trying to get, uh, what is it called, Rocket League. Uh, that is something I've really wanted to play. I've, uh, played it on my brother's PC laptop. Uh, it is an MSI laptop. Maybe I'll show you guys that sometime. But, basically... I really I played it on there and it was really fun and I want to show you guys uh, that so I think it would be really fun uh, to basically play that with you guys um, and hopefully you guys enjoy that so thank you guys for watching uh, means a lot to us um, if you guys subscribe N uh, shows us that you guys enjoy what we are doing and it encourages us to make better and more content for you guys so thank you guys for watching uh, stay tuned for more videos.